Please, so Pi Day to you. Uh, Thursday, March 14th. Uh, fingers crossed that you are only watching this at home and not sitting in my later class is watching this while I sit at my desk and drool and try not to die. But we're going to find out. Uh, I'm back-ish. We have a quiz tomorrow. Uh, the quiz tomorrow is going to be 15 questions. It's going to cover the Olympians plus the two gods who give up thrones plus the one god who ate a bunch of the gods. The posters will stay up. You're welcome to use the posters. Uh, the posters won't necessarily help you so much, so I'm not going to say. Um, my question will not be, who was the god of childbirth? It'll be more like, who was Mrs. Zeus that keeps trying to kill all of his babies? Where if you paid attention to the stories, it'll make sense to you, but just looking at the posters, that's not going to help you as much. But you're welcome to use the posters and stuff like that as we go through. Turn in camps to come to stuff. I'm in the process of finishing up your groups. You find out your groups in about a week and a half or so. Uh, as far as that goes, and that's because I still have kids who are moving from one session to the next. I have counselors who are moving one session to the next. So nothing is finalized at the very end, but I'm getting close. And then talent shows today's after school from 3 to 5 p.m. And I removed my charger block. It is no longer in my room because somebody kept stealing my cords. You know, that or we have a very smart rat. Uh, I could not tell which one it might be. Sharp? Can I have pair of scissors without getting in the video? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. Weber? Wait, can you buy the ticket at the door? Yeah, I think so. Unless, unless they say something different in the announcements, I believe so. Yes? Why would a rat steal your cords? Because they don't do their homework, so they get yelled at. Yeah. Dang. Shots fired. See, I'm healthier. Monday, I would just stared at you and drooled, which would not be very effective at all. Um, speaking of which, we are done with Greek mythology next Friday. No. no! I feel the same way. Sadness. I enjoy it. But because of snow days and scheduling, I'm losing I like, like a week and a half, uh, which is a lot of sadness. But part of that is the difference between you getting an A on the test next week, and if you don't want to get an A on the test, there's like two stories you're going to have to read on your own. This is going to be one of those stories you're going to have to read on your own. I will also send out a video of me teaching part of it. If you're like, I don't care about an A, then don't worry about the story. If you're trying to go for an A for next week's test, his story of the creation of the seasons is going to deal with Hades kidnapping his girlfriend because he's not very good at dating. Uh, and when you're not good at dating, there's an app you can use called Steal a Woman. Uh, and so he used the app called Steal a Woman, uh, which apparently did not go as well as the one. Which is why women don't sign up for that app. Weird. Um, and you're going to have that done by Monday because it's going to connect to the things coming up there. Nate! Didn't he steal Demeter's daughter? I have no idea. And Demeter is his sister, so I have technically no idea. he. Wait, time out. He Here's a story. Good job. So now it's on my website where you're going to find a thing called the Creation of the Season Story. If you can scroll down and find it from there, I will send it out on Remind also for the three of you who actually check Remind. Uh, we can try to help you out from there. Good job. You're one of the three. I check it So proud of your honesty. Now, notebook, take blue sheet, put inside notebook, close notebook, except you're the one kid that ate your notebook, then you just sit there and get to stare at your blank piece of paper while we gently mock you. Uh, we're going to see how much of this stuff is still stayed inside of your brain oh. from the last couple days. Since at the end of class, in theory, you get a chance to start saying it out loud to try and get <coughs> uh, see how things go. First god to get a throne on Mount Olympus was... Zeus! Yes. Yes. Uh, what do we say for Zeus? King of all the gods. And our hand sign. Smite. 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 There you go. And the second god. Hera. 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 And what was it? Queen of all the gods. And that's what we have once again. Uh, DJ Sparkle Moose. Uh, so upset I'm not going to be at the glow party next week because I would have been DJ Sparkle Moose there. The third one to get a god the was Poseidon. called. Poseidon. I thought it was Struggle Bus, the god of pencils. Oh, as, no, I really see. I just, oh, there's a pile. I, I thought you were sharpening the same pencil over and over again. I was like, wow, you no, could no, not just, master pencil like, sharpening. I always do this later. So oh, that's I fine. Just, Poseidon. Poseidon. And who is Poseidon the god of? Water, water the god of the ocean. And, you know, and squishy things. And then your hands. Water, like, squishy things, sings and fishy and stuff. And that's for those of you who are more sinking or those of you who just like to slap people. That would also work too with your doggy paddles watching. I'm watching some of you guys do that. I hope you never get near water. And I'm watching like, Mr. Brody, I got swimming. <laughs> you are not. You are just drowning slowly. Um, after Poseidon, our next one to get a throne. Demeter. 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 There's the struggle. Oh my gosh, I just realized the order of the phone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. 
I mean, I wasn't going to say that out loud, but Demeter! And what do we say for Demeter? God, 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 God is not the harvest. God is so great in the harvest. That was a struggle also. I did it. Apparently, I'm not the only one who's sick and having issues. God of grains and harvest, and then our hand sign for that one. The lawnmower. The lawnmower. The lawnmower. The lawnmower. And once again, I'm guessing many of you guys have never actually mown a lawn before. I have mowed a lawn. We have a riding mower. Uh, so I have you no can idea also do, do the riding mower if you're more of the riding mower person. That's fine with me. And there is a difference between riding a lawn mower and a jackhammer. <laughs> you can move your body with it, but we'll help you figure that one out. Yes. I'm literally not allowed to mow the lawn. That's not surprising. Because no. you die because of all the issues. Yeah. I figured it would kick stuff up and you would just hit the ground like flopping on it. And you get ran over by the lawn mower. <laughs> anyway, after Demeter, we have different hands for Hepatitis. 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 <laughs> so, once again, our next one they get a throne after Demeter is? Hepatitis! Hepatitis! Hades! We already did Hades. Hestia! Hestia! Why is yeah. Hades not listed up there? Because, because he doesn't he doesn't get get out. Out. Nice. Oh. Why is Hestia not listed up there? Because he's not. Which is a story we'll get to in a moment. So technically, Hestia does have a throne. She is still up there. Hades does not. He gave his throne up right away for the whole not wanting to talk to people thing. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And then our next one to get a throne and keep it. Hephaestus! Good job pronouncing it correctly. Never mind, that one kid who won these points. And so we have this where Hephaestus comes in. We are done giving thrones to brothers and sisters. So all the rest of them are going to be children, except for one, which we'll get to in a moment. And Hephaestus, the only god that is crippled. Who cripples him? Zeus. Getting oh, on the story, also. Zeus yeeting him out of a window, uh, as, as you do with the child. And what do we say for Hephaestus? God of metal working. God of metal working and metal working metal broken legs. And then the hand sign for him. Hammer. Hammer time. Hammer you walk in a circle. Hammer. Are you hammer time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hammer time, I, 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 I will uh, allow oh, hammer time when it comes time for him. That's as so long funny. as you do it correctly. And <laughs> Hephaestus' brother? Aries. He is the god of war. Petty war. 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 Don't care how you win tight. Poking him in the eyes and the hand sign for that is that is not correct. No, still not. Fighting position. Looking angry at me while you do it. <laughs> Getting still. What are you hawking a horde at a child that's running through the neighborhood? <laughs> You have to go across, protect the soft part of the throat, and then the face. Still not what you're doing either. How do you fail at pussy fighting? Um, by the way, what's kind of frightening on this particular one, with, with once again, you go across the throat, protect the face, swing the arm. Um, I still no. that, That's I, I'm scared to haunt the horn of my car. Um, I have high school kids who come back all the time, um, especially like the camp to come to during. They'll come in and see the fact of all my posters up, and they'll go, Mr. Brogak, I remember all those hand signs. And I'll go, which ones do you remember? And they'll go, this one? And that's always the one that they go to is, for some reason, this is the one that almost... If, when you go to Camp Tecumseh, if you have a hero who was your Camp Tecumseh counselor, you can just say, <coughs> Greek mythology, do you remember? And they'll go, oh, yes. they'll you. I have a dream uh, that someday, uh, during my teaching career, I'm going to have a kid come back to me in high school, like, Mr. Boviak, uh, I actually got into a fight a couple weeks ago, and the guy came at me, and I was like, Rawr. Uh But it's not happened yet, but someday I have a dream of one of my kids getting <laughs> almost beat up no. and thrown down. What if one of us just lied to you and said you never got into I, I would never lie to kids myself, but I would accept that if you guys liked. <laughs> you almost said a little straight face. Um, our next one after wait after Aries, we're now done having children with his wife. So now he decides to be creative and go elsewhere. Uh, and so the next two are connected to each other. Artemis and Amalos. Now, when Zeus befriends Artemis and Amalos, uh, mummy. Amalos. Uh, Amalos. Amalo. That's. Email. Email. Uh, what form does he take? Swan. 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 Nice to know. 
Um, and then uh, she gets. Ooh, what does Harris send after her to chase her? Python. Python, the giant snake, chases after her. And then where does she go to have the children? An island. And then my personal favorite part of the story: when they make their bows and arrows, what do they use for their bows and arrows? And they're their own cords. And wood. Wait, do they uh, actually? They use, yeah, they use, they use their own umbilical cords for bows and arrows, then fire back to kill the snake. The first one of the two to get a throne is going to be Artemis. And she is the God of Moon. Unmarried women are king. Nicely done. Hunting the moon women. and technically unmarried women. That was a big part of it. By the way, in Greek mythology, again, God does not mean gender. It was not a male-female thing. The idea of a goddess was not until hippies, like in the 1970s. Um, as far as the Greeks were concerned, God just meant like a race of creatures. Like you're not a human and a humaness. You're just a human. It was the same thing. You were just a god. It was just a dude and do thing. that. So, uh, Artemis, the hand sign for her. The boat. There you go, your inner yeah. Katniss Everdeen. And then her brother is? Apollo. Apollo. He was? Hottie. Hotties. Nicely done. The hottest of all the gods and the sun. And then our hand sign. There you go. Why don't, hey, why don't we do Giggling this is optional. Uh, if you would like to burn your own hip, I'm fine with that. Okay. If she's going to dance to Hammer, Hammer Time, you're more than welcome to sizzle yourself. It will only be partially creepy. Uh, speaking of partially creepy, our next one to get a, ooh, our next one to get a throne is not a child of Zeus. Aphrodite. Who is her father? Ernest. Uh, Ernest. 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 Nicely done. Um, and so, why is she connected to Ernest? When was she born? Chopped down the ocean. So it goes all the way back to the chippity choppity, the chunky falling down. So what does she become the god of? Love and beauty. And she is not a good person. We'll get to stories of her being awful and mean and stuff like that. Uh, and our hand sign for her. Uh, or I had kids who did like the really weird gang sign. They sort of like throw that what thing too. And if you can throw like that kind of gang sign, that's fine. Just don't do it on the streets. I'm not responsible what happens. Uh, and so you create a heart with your hands. However, that's going to work. Those are fingers. Yes. Um, probably just wait till the end of class. It's behind my desk. Yeah, do it. After Aphrodite, the one we covered from the very beginning, who gets the throne is Hermes. Uh, Athena. Athena. Oh, yeah. uh, I didn't see that one. Are those plastic bags for me? Yeah. Dreams come true. Thank you. Is what did you say it was? Athena. Uh, Athena. And Athena is born from where? His head! So what does she become the god of? Wisdom! Done. And our hand sign for her? Wisdom! Oh, Cuss? Oh. They didn't have, they didn't invent divorcing, no. right, back then, so you couldn't really do it. Yeah, you just had to kill them. You were technically counseling. Lawsuits were a lot harder. Uh, and then our last one to technically get a throne is? Hermes, Hermes. which is the part that we were just filling in with the fact that yeah. we had just ended the story previously, the fact that Hermes, and I'm going to give you like the real shortened in version of that. Yeah, Zeus is just like right there. Finds oh, out about the whole, and that's where we have the strumming and Maya, the, the nymph, and Zeus being friendly with the nymph, and apparently it was some weird biological thing, and he runs around real fast. Zeus at this point is all excited because he's impressed by the fact that Hermes was able to do all this sneaking and trading and stealing. And he's like, anyone that is that sneaky uh, and able to lie that well, he's like, you should be really close to me. So he decides to give Hermes the last throne and brings him up. But as soon as Hermes gets up to Mount Olympus, he can't sit still. And the entire time he's like, what? Look, it's over there. Look at that. There's a butterfly. 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 And so Zeus is like, fine. You know what? Um, just run down to Hades real quick and just deliver a message. Like, tell him hi. He's like, okay. He takes off running. So that's how Hermes ends up getting his job. And what's his job? Messenger. Because of the whole nonstop, really fast runny thing, he becomes the messenger of the gods. And our hand sign for him because pretty much every time we see him, he's going to be doing the same thing. Running. Running. <laughs> Once again, I hope many of you never run. As I'm watching somebody <laughs> try and do your running thing. Whatever particular running style you might have. Or non-running as it could occur. At this point, Hermes is our last one to get a throne. Because we have one person still on a throne, and that is? Just the other. That's just the other. Nice done. And things go well for some time. Until and we're at the jump around story wise, because at this point we have no humans. Because what happened to humans? They all died. Die. So we have no humans, they all die. But there's a story we're going to get to in a little bit about the next race of humans, but to keep things easier here, 
we're going to imagine jumping forward in time, humans have been created. We'll also explain how that happens in a moment. Now that humans are created, Zeus decides that he's no longer going to be friendly with gods as much, but humans don't count. So he decides he's going to be friendly with a human girl. So he comes down to Earth, and he has to take a human <coughs> form. Because it was believed that gods have what was called a true form, which is sort of like how we would see angels. It was like a big ball of bright light. And if a human ever saw a god in their true form, it would basically vaporize us, like looking at a nuclear bomb. Like, it's so pretty, and you just disappear. So whenever the gods came down, they would change their form. Even if they were gigantic and stomping on you, they had to form a, a version of themselves that you'd be able to see. So that when he comes down to Earth, he turns himself into a human form of his godliness. And he finds a human girl by the name of Semele. S-E-M-E-L-E. -E. Like Just a, a normal girl in a village. Like a He's like, hey, I'm Zeus. And she's like, how would I know you're Zeus? He's like, I've got a beard uh, and I've got this toga. She's like, good enough for me. Yes. I just leave it there. It's okay. It's good for me. They're probably trying to leave messages. Um, and so he and Simile are friendly. This continues on for several visits till one time he shows up and she goes, uh, Zeus, I have good news. And that good news is you've seen these type of stories before. And he goes, oh, um, okay. Well, here's the issue. Um, you can't tell anyone that I'm the father. She goes, why? He goes, well. I have this thing called a wife, um, and she's probably going to kill you. So don't let anyone know that I'm the father, and when the baby's born, I'll sneak it up to Mount Olympus, and I'll raise it up there, and I'll find some way to get around things. She goes, oh, fine, okay. So he leaves her down there and says, I'll come back before the baby's born. Yes. I'm going to be a somebody Right, we're not talking about Hermes. Hermes is already born. Oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. It's okay, I forgive you. You're probably also sick. I know what that feels like. So, uh -oh. so similarly, as she begins to show from her pregnancy, people would walk by and ask, like, hey, who's the father? And she yeah. wouldn't tell them until eventually they wear her down and her friends get her to break first. Like, come on, who's the father? You can tell us. We won't tell anyone. And finally she's like, all right, can't tell anyone because his wife's crazy. But the baby daddy is Zeus. And they're like, Ermagerd. And he's like, I know. And so eventually they get all excited. And she realizes that people think it's really cool that Zeus is going to be the father. So she starts weakening and telling more and more people. Till it gets to the point where just random strangers walking by be like, hey, are you pregnant? She's like, I am pregnant. You're right. And Zeus is the baby daddy. But you can't tell anyone because his wife's a psycho and she'll kill people. So you got to keep it between you and me and you and you and you and you and all of you people over there. And she starts telling everybody that Zeus is going to be the father. Naturally, this eventually trickles back all the way up to Mount Olympus where Hera, walking through the halls of Mount Olympus one day, overhears two other gods talking about the fact that apparently some woman down on Earth is telling everyone that Zeus is going to be the father of her baby and that the wife is crazy. Hera gets upset, naturally. She's like, oh. But she decides, you know what? I'm done killing women that my husband has been friendly with. Instead, I'm going to make him kill this woman instead. So she comes up with a plan That's to make Zeus fun. kill the girl. So she takes the form of an old woman and goes down to the village where Simile is and wanders around the village until she finds Simile. She's like, oh, hey, girl, you look like you're pregnant. And before she finishes, Simile's like, I am pregnant, crazy old woman who I've never seen before, and this is the first time I'm seeing you right now. And Zeus is the father. And Hera goes, oh, how do you know that? She goes, well, one, he told me that his wife is a psycho, and two, um, well, he had a beard on and a toga, and he said his name was Zeus, so that's good enough for me. Hera goes, well, how do you know it's not just some random guy who just says his name is Zeus? Somebody goes, that's a good point. And Hera goes, ah, I know. Somebody goes, well, how would I get him to prove it? And Hera goes, well, it's a little known fact that if a human ever sees a god in their true form, they have to get married. Somebody goes, no, crazy old woman. If I see a god in their true form, then I'll die. Everyone knows that. Hera goes, no, that's a rumor spread by the gods themselves because they don't want humans to know if you see a god in their true form, 
they have to marry you on the spot and take you up to Mount Olympus. So, the next time this Zeus shows up, mm -hmm. make him show you his true form. If he won't show you his true form, it's because he either doesn't love you and loves his wife instead, or it's not really Zeus and it's just some weird old man with a beard. And somebody's like, oh, well, thank you, old lady. And she's like, you're welcome. Giggle, 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 and off she goes. Simile goes back home and stops telling people that Zeus is the father and just gets angrier and seethes and gets angrier and grumpier till one day there's a knock on the front door. Simile, who's nice and pregnant by this point, waddles up to that front door <laughs> and opens it up and on the other side of it is Zeus standing there and he's like, hey baby, how you doing? She goes, uh-huh, don't you hate baby me? He's like, whoa, what, what's going on? He's like, I'm, I'm Zeus, I'm here to come get the baby. She's like, you ain't getting any baby. He's like, what's wrong? He goes, because you're not really Zeus. He goes, whoa, I'm, I'm Zeus, I've got the beard, I've got the toga, I said I'm Zeus. She goes, mm-hmm, if you were really Zeus, you would show me your true form. He goes, I, I can't show you my true form. If I did that, it would kill you. She goes, nuh uh. I talked to this old lady, and she told me that if you show me your true form, you have to marry me. And if not, then you love your wife, and that's why. He goes, well, that lady was wrong. And Simile starts going off on him. There's snapping involved. Her head starts going around in a circle, and she starts yelling at him. Zeus does not take getting yelled at very well. And she's like, oh, I've seen your true form. That's why you want to show me your true form. Your true form is dirty old man. That's your true form. And starts yelling at him. Zeus goes, fine. You want to see my true form? Boo! And goes into his true form right in front of her. And she goes, it's true! And disappears into a big pile of <laughs> dust particles. Problem is, the baby inside of her is half God. So when she goes, kapoof, the baby goes, kasplat, onto the ground. Ew. And Zeus goes, ruh row raggy. I made a poor choice. He goes, ah, looks around, and no one's looking. Quickly reaches down, grabs the baby, pulls out his knife, and then plunges it into his own leg and cuts his leg open from the thigh <laughs> all the way down to the kneecap. Opens up his thigh, no. crams the baby oh inside, no. closes the thigh back <laughs> over, and that way brings the baby to full term in his leg. Goes back up to Mount Olympus no. and tells everyone that he has a leg baby and starts walking around with a giant leg lump no. until. It is time for him to finally give birth, and he can tell when he walks, his leg like jumps out Second. one side. He's like, I think it's kicking. He's like, I think it's time to give birth. So he finally squeezes his leg baby out, and out comes the leg baby, and he names this leg baby Dionysus, which in Greek literally means two births, because the D-I meaning two, and the Nysus means birth or came from, and so it means the fact that Dionysus means born twice. Once when the mom went kasploof, and once when the dad went kasperi. Zeus, super excited about giving birth. He's like, I just gave birth to a leg baby. That's almost as good as a brain baby. But his issue is, there's no more thrones with which to give this leg baby a home. So he starts pouting and throwing a fit on Mount Olympus. He's like, how can a man give birth to a baby, and that baby can't give a throne? What kind of world is this? And as he throws a fit, eventually, his sister goes, you know what? I understand. It's a big step for a man to give birth to his leg. So because of that, I'm willing to step down and give up my throne. And the god to give up her throne is? Hestia. And that's where Hestia comes in. She goes, I'll give up my throne for him. Zeus is so happy. He goes, you know what? You don't even have to leave Mount Olympus. You can stay on Mount Olympus and live with us, and you'll be the 13th Olympian. So he allows her to stay on Mount Olympus and become the 13th Olympian. Dionysus then gets a throne. Dionysus, being the youngest of all the gods, is sort of like the rapscallion teenager of all of them. Hmm. Uh, he's also the one that invents the thing that the Greeks really, really like. Why? He's and the he god of the inventor of wine, which is why our hand sign for him is the whole tippy tippy. Uh, with that, he also shows them sort of the fewest number of stories because he was sort of the last one to get a throne on Mount Olympus. But the Greeks also were not dumb. And they know that when you drink too much wine, something happens. You get drunk. You get drunk, which changes your personality. That also connected to Dionysus. Dionysus, the god, is all about having two sides to things. And the idea of being drunk is there's two sides to you. Your sober self and your not-so-sober self. And Dionysus was the same way. 
He was known for throwing huge parties, but then at the end of the party, he would pout, get upset, and kill everyone who came to his parties. And so he had lots of issues. He also was the god that created drama. Now, not the drama that you guys have between each other, which like causes all those issues, but theater drama. Oh. At his parties, he made people perform for him. And it created this whole idea of creating plays. There is actually a symbol for theater that is connected back to Dionysus. The oh, the two faces? Oh, yeah, my the two oh my goodness! That is actually supposed to be oh, from I confirm. Dionysus. The comedy and tragedy comes from him and the two sides of no his personality. Way. And the idea of creating these two different halves to it. So that all goes back to Dionysus, our last one. one to get a throne. It's crazy! What? The what? learning. Why are there five A's in a row? Because that's the way it is. Okay. So now, put blue sheet inside of there. We're going to practice doing them together. Unless you don't feel strong with it, then you can leave yours out Please if you want to take a look at it. But I'm going to make this Please disappear if you want to stand up this time. Okay, I'm going to stand up. I will do hand signs. You are going to have to do the talky bits as we go through. So, once again, they're not there, uh, but if you need to look at it, that's fine. Sorry. We'll see how well things go. So, starting off, we have... Zeus, king of all the gods, Hera, queen of all the gods, Poseidon, god of the other stones, Demeter, god of grain and harvest, Hephaestus, god of metal burning, My goal is, starting tomorrow, at the end of class, oh, now the problem is, tomorrow. when you do it, you only have 25 seconds. What? Because I can't spend forever for you to take four minutes to figure it out. Yes, you can use the posters, that's absolutely fine with me, but you still only have 25 seconds to go through and do it. The more you get through, the more of the five points you get. If you get halfway through, you only get like two and a half points rounded down. And so hopefully it gives you <laughs> some down. idea from there. Cuss. Have you ever had a student try to fight you? Um, not in survive. <laughs> so now, to go back to the whole humans dying off thing. What happened to the first race of humans? They were killed in the war. So now, oh, who created the first race of humans? Oh, uh, me. Oh, yes. So Zeus, now that he is the new leader of all the gods, decides he wants to have a race of humans created also. So he goes and talks to Prometheus. He goes like, hey, rumor is you created the first race of humans. I'd really like to get another race of humans. Can you help me out? Prometheus goes, no. He goes, why? Wait. Prometheus goes, well, here's the issue. You're having me set up the new government for you and get everything running on this end and use my whole smarty smart thing to sort of run how you're doing stuff. I can't do both. So you're going to choose which one's more important. So this goes, ugh, probably setting up the government's more important. Fine. I'll get someone else to create people. So he figures if he can't use Prometheus, he has the next best thing, which is Epimetheus. So he goes and talks to Epimetheus. And he goes, Epimetheus, you're as good as Prometheus, right? Epimetheus is like, oh, what's a Prometheus? And he goes, all right, so here's what you're going to do. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of special magic Play-Doh that you're going to use to create not only humans, but all the animals. Because it turned out all of animals were killed oh, no. off too. So you're going to create people and animals, both. And he goes, but on top of that, he busts out like this giant tackle box. But in this giant tackle box, instead of fishing lures, it's got stuff like... Oh, and there we stop. Yeah. We'll try to pick up tomorrow after we have our Olympian okay. quit. <laughs> Olympian quiz. Take off. <laughs>